everybody. Welcome back. I'm David and this is Gemini Builder. Today we're going to build Tucker a new dog bed. Uh, it's all out of scrap wood that we had in the lumber pile and cull lumber that I bought from Home Depot. So it was a very low cost option. He does like it. He's a little camera shy I think and he wants to get out of the bed. Oh, okay good. He's down. Let's see how long he stays there. Proof, proof of concept to see if he actually likes it. But yeah, fun project to build, fairly straightforward. All butt joints, glue, nail were appropriate. We ordered these bobby pin legs from Amazon. Simple screw on attachments and his bed that he seems to like very much. So let's get building, let's make some sawdust. Let's go. So here we're working on one of the sides. We have the other side. There's some glue along the seam. And then these are just nailed into the face, no glue, because these are gonna move with humidity changes. So we have that panel built. Now we're gonna build this panel. Got a pretty good straight seam here. So we're gonna run a bead of glue. That's nice. So we're gonna run a short bead of glue here. Well, not a short bead, a long bead, but a small bead of glue. Let's put some pressure here. I'm gonna bring those together, come back in with the cross pieces, and that'll hold it together while the glue dries. From the end, just to make sure that there's no interference from when we actually try to attach the front to the sides. These are low profile. So this would be the inside. So these are very low profile. So we'll be able to slide the big squishy bed right past those. It won't interfere at all with the assembly of the frame or the fitment of his bed that is on its way. All right, so that's that one. Now we're gonna repeat that on the front and the back. We'll probably time-lapse that because you don't really need to see me do that in slow motion. So. We'll do that, get the four panels together, and we'll put them on a table and see what we got. All right, so this is the front of the piece. This is gonna be our spacer for the time being. we we'll put this here and here. We're gonna lay out exactly where we're going to cut away this so that Tucker can jump in and out easily. And then we'll put additional um, cross members here for support. All right, so that's all four panels. Let's get them up on the table and see what they look like sitting together. Here you can see that I'm laying out the lines for 
the entry point to Tucker's bed. Once I get them cut out, I realize that the hole itself is a little too small, so I'm gonna come back in later in the video and cut that wider. Here we're ripping down some slats for the bottom of Tucker's bed that the uh, dog bed is going to actually sit upon. And with uh, two and a half inch finish nails, we're just driving those in, no glue, just driving those in and they're very strong, not going anywhere. His bed is safely secure. So back at it again. I realized I made a mistake yesterday. This is too narrow of a gap, especially considering how the bed is shaped. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna leave this point here and here, but I'm gonna angle it back to about there and there. Gotta measure that out and see. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna do that, but that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna relay out the uh, angled line so the dog has more room jump in the bed. We're gonna cut some plywood that I have left over from other projects and put slats on at least three sides of this bed to give it a, um, a shiplap look. So as you just saw, we ripped that plywood down and here we are putting in the first row of slats, made sure it was nicely aligned with the entry point for the bed. And using four nickels stacked on top of each other, we used that as a spacer to get the second slat up and off the ground. And here we're cross cutting the side pieces Going to get those nailed in, and basically it's wash and repeat. We're going to cut and glue and nail. One thing is we did use a pin nailer for this, and pin nails are fantastic because when you paint it, the pin nail holes are filled. There's no need for a secondary filler. The paint takes care of it. So I will definitely be using that more in the future. So we're gonna wrap the sides of the top two slats. I think we're gonna wind up doing the back also, just so, I don't know, I don't think it's ever gonna sit in the center of a room, but if we ever turn it into a coffee table or something ridiculous, I guess it'll be okay looking from all four sides. So we'll do the top slats, we'll do the back four slats. Just let it sit then and let all the glue cure get some paint stain on this thing because I think it's going to be multicolored, maybe some stain. I'm not really sure. We'll see what the wifey says. All right, guys, let's finish it up.
Welcome back everybody. I'm David, this is Gemini Builder, and this is Tucker. And this is Tucker's bed. Well, it will soon be Tucker's box for his bed. Bed's coming today, got the notice from Amazon. There's gonna be a bed, there's legs. So we're gonna do a quick sanding on all of this, fix some errors that we have some rough spots, but all, again, all sanding, nothing major. Hello, I love you too. What do you think, you like your bed? All right, so we're gonna get to work. Tucker's gonna go back in the house and hang out with his brothers, and um, we'll make this thing look pretty. Boom, what do you think? Say hi. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. It's the perfect size. So after giving everything a final sanding to 180 grit, we added paint and the bobby pin legs, and Tucker seems to love it. All right, Tucker? Tucker? Hey, Tucker. Tucker. <sighs> Come on. So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. And be sure to check out the other videos on the channel. Really appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Get out there and make some sawdust.